what do you understand by pesticide paradox principle and how to overcome it okay so pesticide paradox principle uh, if you would have gone through my istqb series or the manual testing tutorial series which is published fully on the channel i've explained about the pesticide paradox principle right so the seven principles of testing so what exactly pesticide paradox principle is all about so for example i'll take a real example if you have a crop okay you are growing a crop and over the period of years you use the same pesticide on that particular crop then the effect of the pesticide over the period of years gets reduced because the pests get resistant to that pesticide right so over the period of years you have to keep changing the pesticide or do some changes in the in the pesticide so that you can or so that the pests are not used to it or basically they do not get resistant to it so that is the whole principle and it came from this crop thing itself so pesticide and the pro, uh, and the pests so so it doesn't matter wherever you are using the pesticide if you are doing the same if you are using it same again and again over the period of time it will become ineffective because the pest become resistant to it and same thing same principle applies to your test cases as well why because if say for example you have the same set of test cases that you have prepared and you are executing them over and over again as a regression suite and you are not doing any changes in the test cases and you are not updating those then you are not going to find any new bug okay so you have to make sure that over the period of time as your product matures as your software matures and you are adding more functionality the previous test cases that you have the regression set that you have you make sure that you keep updating those adding more edge cases and scenarios so that you can basically go ahead and find new defects right it's it's if you're using same set of test cases you are not going to be able to find any more new defect and that's what the pesticide paradox is all about okay so this is what the principle is and this is what it means in software testing okay